Pistons off season great so far. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's been cooking, bro. He's been cooking, man. I it's 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 hard for me to give him anything other than an A, but I'm gonna go with an A minus. I'm gonna go with the A minus. But when you look at it, bro, like the Pistons did exactly what a team who offers their best player a max extension does. They build around them, right? That's what the Pistons have done. They built around K properly. They added shooting. You got veteran leadership now. And to top it off, you got a guy that Kate wanted to play with that fits the bill as well. So I'm with it. And I've really just been impressed with when it comes to Trajan Langdon. Um, just the way he's managed the salary cap. And you can tell from the moves that they're making, you know, when they're making them, how they're waiting until certain time frames, you know, come to pass to save money, things like that. So they just seem to really get it and understand the assignment right now. And so the only reason I wouldn't give him an A plus. I think they slightly pay for Tobias at 26 million a year, but you know, if you if you want to factor in his leadership and things like that into the 26 million as far as helping grow these guys up, I'm with it. So that would be the only thing because I felt like they were kind of bidding against themselves with that 26 million a year. But if that was why you overpaid him, to go get him. I'm with it. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna give him somewhere around a A minus between A minus and a B plus, uh, simply because he's just doing things that pretty much make sense. And I can appreciate that, you know what I'm saying? Because we can definitely do some things that's <laughs> that's old Pistons, right? Right. Uh, he's doing what makes sense, man. And I got to give uh, credit to the guy before him that created the situation that he's using right now. Troy yep. def left us in a good situation with the cap space and, you know, the flexibility uh, that right now. So I got to give the man before him that credit. For sure. Listen, man, you know, like I said, we, we still got to get a GM in here, obviously. Uh, but for what it's worth, Trajan has been making some solid moves. Like, and when you think about it, he's done all of this in about 40 days. He's shown like he's not afraid to make the necessary and decisive moves, bro. Did he make a huge splash? No, but he tried to make a few. He's willing to go after guys. You know, Buddy Heal was one of those guys that was on his radar, you know, but he wanted to go to a winning situation, but he tried to go get him. As we currently sit, we're not a winning situation. It's a little bit harder than just trying to go get a guy. They got to want to come here too, so. Yeah, all in all, I'll give him a, a, a. I'm really impressed with what I've seen with him. And I feel that Tom Gore has, you know, got this hired right for sure. Yeah, absolutely, man. You know, like I said, as far as the offseason goes, we still got money. You know, it's it's not over. You know, still got some work to do. And I think mm -hmm. he's got a solid job at, you know, continuing to round out this team. This team already makes a lot more sense. Right. You right. hundred percent. Yeah, it definitely makes a lot more sense right now. I think this might be the last move that the Pistons make in a while. And I say that because I've mentioned this before too. The CBA now requires that all NBA teams use all of their, or most of their cap space before the start of the regular season, right? To be exact, they got to use 90%. Every team has to use 90% of their cap. So 90% of 140 million, that's the cap for every team is 140. 90% of that, you just follow me, is 126 million. So that means you can go into the season with 14 million in your reservoir unused right so right now the pistons have about 18 to 21 left they're already like within seven or eight of that 90 percent so i'm wondering if they're just going to try to do a few more deals here and there just to get to that number just to get to that 14 million so they're under that threshold and just kind of sit on it just in case a team with the deadline comes along who's desperate to move a player this grown up player or move a contract at the deadline which they will which they will that 14 million in cash space that 10 percent that we had in our reservoir that may help us facilitate a trade and only have to send like maybe one impact player back because the 14 million is covering a big part of it and maybe we could also get a pick back with that too so if we go into the regular season with no more major moves made and we're hovering around that 14 million available in cash space and we're just sitting on it that's going to tell me that's what the pistons are doing yeah just being patient having just enough to beat that 90 percent and also have that flexibility cap wise to wait for that one move if it becomes available we're going to learn a lot about our coach his principles what, what he values on the court we're going to see a lot of that based off of the rotations based off of who he decides to go with i think we're going to learn a lot about bigger staff based on what the final rotation is what he's gonna do with the things that he has available to him. Yeah.
we have a very a very deep team with a, and it gives us a lot of options you know some of the guys that are here now may not be here all season long but that cast space we just talked about that may be used to move somebody out so i'm looking for that too to see who's winning matchups who's winning roles on the team even in the second unit should be fun man Breaking records set by Michael J. Bringing glory days back to the future, Michael J. He's way ahead of his time, he's got a plan, yeah. Let off by none other than his brother Cannon. If this is more than a game, it's a passion. Why they sleep, we working? Cause I'm a passion.